Welcome to another unveiling, unboxing of a new tarot deck. I want to say to each and every person out there, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the likes and the share. Thank you for the comments, all the comments. And I want to say to each and every person out there, I am so grateful for your support. Also, the people who doesn't subscribe and still listen to the videos, I can understand not everyone can subscribe, but you do still listen to the videos. Thank you very much. I want to say um, that I am so appreciative of all the help, all the support, all the comments, all the good remarks and bad remarks. That's good because it only makes me um, look at things differently and change things. I want to say that this has been a very wonderful year for myself because I have um, had the have come have so much contacts with so many good people, um, and I've changed the way I look at life and I'm doing other things so that I can support everyone and uh, um, just like you guys support me. Um, I, <laughs> this is so wonderful. I always like to give back something because it's Christmas. It's coming up to Christmas and it's a time when, um, even when you don't have a lot of money, um, you can always buy a book for someone. A book is a very wonderful gift and I use the tarot card. So I always, you know, like people always, um, um, give me little gifts like tarot cards and so and um, these cards decks I got from um, the Jude Craft tarot deck this is wonderful I love this I love this and um, I've always I am I'm, I'm always so um, I love the Celtic the Celtic um, the way they look at life and um, I've always liked this. I like uh, um, the mystical side of things. So I always talk about the fairies, the angels, the fae. And um, the Celtic has this, the, their cultures and the way they look at things. And I love their card set. And, you know, there are very nice people. And I kind of connect with a lot of cultures because I appreciate that we at this time at this time perk that we have youtube and we can connect with other people on youtube and we can see a lot of stuff and a lot of us who um have tarot deck we always use them but never get to say thanks to the people who um design them and who works on them this is a wonderful deck i so love the celtic um yeah the Celtic group, the Celtic system, um, the way they think. So this is wonderful. I like the witch tarot. I love witches and that sort of a thing. So this is just so wonderful. I resonate with angels, but I appreciate all of these elemental beams because witches are also elemental beams. Okay. Okay. Um, for if you would like to order a 2017 reading, you can always visit um, my website, zizuktok.com. I'll make sure I put direct the direct link because a lot of people will mail me and ask me, um, how do I get to place an order? And I will try and see if I can put the direct link on it so that you can just press the link and go right to um, PayPal because I use PayPal because it's much easier for everyone. Um, for each and every person out there who is going to watch this video and listen to this video, I'm asking you to remember um, all the people who doesn't really have it. Okay, not all of us have it, but um, if you uh, always see someone who's living on the street, give them a, um, you know, you don't have to give them money, but you can buy a cup of coffee or if you have a bread or something for them to eat. It is coming up to Christmas and it is the time when we should always give and and help other people and remember everyone love is the only thing that is real no matter what other people are trying to do to you no matter what people will um, do to you remember that love is the only thing if you would like you to know what is your energy vibration for 2017 please place your order it is now for um, a very cheap price at $45. Um, so it's a very cheap price for everyone. That, uh, and you will get a full bolt-to-bolt -bolt, um, 
over every month of the year and um, you can choose whether or not you want to have them um, at one time or you would like to have them like every month you get your energy readings okay love this love this love this this is the back of the box yeah I've been trying to get the right view because I'm doing it from thing there and this is the front this is the English version so um, I am not sure how many versions or how many languages they comes in but this is the English one and I love using um, I love I love using the English Italian tarot deck to, for some reason. Um, I the Italians have this sort of a, a, a more mystical feeling towards it, and I love yeah my my <laughs> yeah you know it's it's so wonderful when you have you have different languages, but there are some languages I love the way this box open up. Look at it, if you just pull it open. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful gift for someone out there. Um, it's Christmas, you know, it's that big. I think you can um, maybe find them at um, all sort of a spiritual spiritual shop. As I open the box, this is how it is. And this is the book inside. This is wonderful. And I'm going to open it. This is the book. This is it's a really nice book. You know, I um why I love these is that these are good for people who are this is the back of the book. And I love this because there's nothing at the back of the book, but it's at the back of the the box, which is just so nice. This is this is different. So, this is this is how thick it is. And you know, it's wonderful. I just opened it so you know okay as I look inside these pictures are not really black and white they have a little color thrown over um, sheen color sheen we call that so it's not really black and white it's in red so you know it's different I love this because it's not really in black because most of the time it is always in black and I love black but black is you know like for the type printer it's good but you know like for other things I don't think it's that good what I love with this is that um, the dude craft tarot is you know it's the magic it's the magic that is behind it and I just so love magic as I told everyone I just so love magic I love magic it is good I love magic um, okay this is how the rest of the boxes I took it out but I'm gonna put it back in just to show you isn't it wonderful and I love doing um, these unveilings because I love the packaging I love the packaging because you know they're tower cards but yet still um, the designers they bring in these wonderful way how they pack them and this is wonderful what I love about this card and I know I will always love this card set is because it opens the box with the Sun whenever um, you open a box or you're doing an unveiling and the box is open with the Sun this is just wonderful because this is going to be a blessing the Sun energy the wheel of fortune so you know I'm sure that whosoever designed this card set is really 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 um, happy with it because the universe has sent them this blessing and they use um, and it is the ace of um, ones it is the, the the ace of ones yeah I'm still trying to find out a way it's the ace of ones so it's the first first card I love this it's they're a little bit bigger um, but it's okay um, I you know it, it depends on what you're using them for if you're doing a reading with someone I always like to use the smaller cards because you can place them on a table you can place them full out these are big so these are like good for YouTube's for doing them on YouTube's and 
why I, I, I love the smaller ones is that they're good for my hands because I have small hands. So um, I always like, but these ones are big, but it doesn't really matter because this, these are like one of the special, um, the special ones that came out. This is a special box. So these, this is a very huge, you know, it's, it's, it's good. This is how it is at the side and this side. And this is um, good. Okay. All right. The artwork at the back, I personally think that they could have done more artwork at the back. Um, I can imagine that this may be a crystal, a sort of a crystal, a sort of a, um, yeah, their own, yeah. Each and every person like have the symbol that they like. So it could be their own symbol so I can't, you know, I can't say anything about that, but you know, if, you know, these cards are so big, so I would expect that they would have put more artwork at the back. That's just one of my um, personal experience, but I guess it's the reason because they're Celtic. So it could be a reason why they use their symbol because everyone has a symbol. I love my symbol. It's the David star. Okay. As I am going further, I'm going to open this. I want to say, um, let me put on my glasses and see. Use the magical of the Waki and uh, Dolphin the Guides to Your Life. And it's by Philip and Stephanie Carr um, Goma, illustrated by Will um, Wardington. So, you know, remember there are people who. Think about doing them and setting them together, but you also have to have a really uh, illustrator. So obviously that this deck was done by a man and a woman. And they, it was done by Philip and Stephanie. Philip and Stephanie Corgor, okay? And the illustration was done by um, Will Wardington. So this is the illustration. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this. I love the colors. Okay, so we looked about the back and we thought that the back could have done more colors, but I can imagine that it has to do with um, um, their symbol because everybody has their own symbol and uh, the Jude car, they, they, are, um, they have their own crest. Yeah, crest is the na name that I was trying to come up with. So, you know, like the Scottish, the, the Irish, uh, the Scottish and the Irish, they have their own crest. And it is a symbol, like um, if you have a Scottish name or something like that, then um, it shows you um, your crest, you know. It's wonderful to really go deeper in it. Okay, so the first one we have, which is so beautiful, we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is wonderful. And remember, it's a witch tarot, um, um, tarot card set. So you will see more nature. And I love the energy of nature because I am an earth person, an earth star person. So um, I love working with the energy of nature. This is wonderful to begin with. I thought it was the sun, but it was the Ace of Wands. As we look at the next energy, we have the two of ones, which is just so wonderful. It's wonderful. I love it because it's an invisible man and it's really in, in the meadow and the trees are over, um, over hasten it, which is just so wonderful. And I'm really, really loving these. Yeah. And I know I love all card sets, but <laughs> Okay, we have the three of wands, and the three of wands is here. Three of wands is here, and I love the way they depict this this three of wands. I really love the way they depict this three of wands because what is so beautiful about this three of wands is that it's all green, and green is always the symbol and the color of prosperity. And the ones are not that thin. It's not the the mare's 
um, specific things about it it is just the energy of how small they are and he is standing looking out which brings a totally different twist on these cards which I favorite love these sort of a um, different ways how they depict it just like the four of ones and this is beautiful and I'm seeing something which I'm going to explain to you okay the four of ones is wonderful because the four of ones is the opening it is stable it is the opening to a much better future it is the opening to a doorway to somewhere where it's much better and that is going to help you that it's going to protect you which is just so wonderful I'm loving I'm really really loving these now we are doing the ones because I've just opened it to realize that they're all ones coming up okay we have the five of ones look at this this is this is wonderful because you know the Celtic deck is a beautiful, wonderful deck, and it's more of a nature setting. And I'm loving it because they give it a lot of twists with the colors, and it's it's set in an old in the 18th century. That sort of a thing, which is just so wonderful. As we look at, we have the six of wands and it is victory triumphant and success and this is beautiful loving it loving it loving it i'm loving it because what's so different about this is that you the horse is always you're seeing the side of the horse but now you're seeing the horse coming to you which they brought on a totally different new twist to this and this is wonderful gorgeous okay we have the seven of ones this is a wonderful way at depicting the seven of ones I know these cards are a little bit big okay this is a wonderful way at depicting the seven of ones because the seven of ones is really you can see that it was like in the 18th centuries or so and it has the energy of the um, the Irish setting which they were trying to protect themselves from the English <laughs> or it could be another um, it could be their home people they were protecting themselves from but this is just so good love the eight of ones this is a good way this is a new way which is very very good well done nicely done um, normally the rest of the eight of ones is all the eights coming to you and this one is just one energies that is with you which is so beautiful <laughs> I love these these are good okay we have the nine of ones and this is good and this is good and love them the nine of one energies is the energy of um, protecting yourself from negative forces of negative energies or so and this is good I love the way they depict this because it's like you know the Celtics and with the Celtic spread I think that that, that is one of the spreads that gives always uh, um, the correct energy vibration of someone especially when you use the the, the Celtic spread and these are Celtic um, who whoever de did these has Celtic background and it is based on the Celtic energy so this is just so wonderful this is a ten of ones and the ten of ones this energy is nicely done you know because as you look at this energy it's not like the other one with all these um, ones on his back and he's trying to go up this this has a different a different different sort of a catch to it and this is beautiful this is beautiful this is beautiful so you know yeah um, this is a wonderful energies as we look at the um, the queen the princess of ones we have the energies of the princess of ones 
and the energy of the princess of one is so beautiful I love this I love this it's like a cult a Celtic goddesses I like the energy of the, the women and the and the energies of all these Celtic goddesses who are really really here working out this is the knight of wands which is beautiful it's a fantastic fantastic these are good days I'm sorry they're big <laughs> this is the queen of wands look how beautiful at least we start seeing more colors because I I was thinking in the beginning okay it's green but it's so green you know but at least you're seeing much more colors now okay I think I'm going to do them one by one because they're quite heavy this is the king of wands and this is a wonderful brilliant energy you know okay I'm not showing my face because I think the best <laughs> I love this it's good it's like uh, um, he has more colors they're becoming more colorful which is wonderful as we look at the um, the ace of cups we have the energy here of the ace of cups I am loving this I'm this is just so wonderful the ace of cups energy and I know everyone some people maybe do not like the green but the green is good we have the two of cups I love this energy of the two of cups because it's the lovers or partnership and a little color came in it purple and green and I am a, a, a very colorful purple and person and you you know it's green I can understand that but sometimes we need a little color in life four of cups okay we're going to come up now with the four of cups wonderful four of cups and I love the way they did this with a cup in the tree which is just wonderful this is brilliant I'm so loving these okay we have the five of cups depicted in a wonderful um, way the five of cups this is the five of cups depicted in a really really nice way he's looking at the water and the cups two cups are behind him and three are um, on the ground which is wonderful this is a different way of doing it I'm, I'm really we have now the six of cups and the six of cups this is in, in, in sort of a different way of looking at it because the six of cups energy is always uh, the six of cups is always the energy of uh, um, soulmates connecting together, soul groups connecting together. But this they have depicted with a mother watching her kids playing outside. But it's always and and the six of cups is always a soulmate connecting together. We have the seven of cups, and I love this. I, you know they changed the way they could have put more colors, but they have changed the way. Just everything is green but I still do understand what they are trying to say but um, the colors are beautiful and this seven of cups color is wonderful it's not the same as all the rest of the cards with the cups things coming out of the cups I love the way they did this 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 is really an witch tower um, depiction we have the eight of cups love this love this love this love this and the eight of cups energy has um, the moon and he's climbing up a mountain and leaving the eight cups behind which is just so wonderful we have the nine of cups and it is the picked met a man this this is a different twist the nine of cups being depicted with a man Wow okay it's always a woman because the nine of cups is your wishes and your dreams coming true so obviously you can see that in those times the men were the ones who had wishes and dreams so we women okay what do we have here the ten of cups celebration and this is a wonderful way because there is a rainbow behind there is a woman that had just had a new baby there are the family crowding around so this is a good way of um, connecting with people doing that this is this is wonderful I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm really excited because okay there's a little too much green but for the rest I love the way they depict the things okay here we have the Queen of Cups 
the queen, nay, the princess of cups. And I love when they use the princess and the, the prince energy because then, you know, like some, sometimes I get from my readers, my watchers, my viewers, isn't it not the energy of uh, male energy? So, you know, I like, and they have the prince of cups. <laughs> so I love this. I'll be using this a lot for you guys because it has the princess and the prince. So then I don't have to say, yes, it can be. I love the princess energy. It looks like the, yeah, it is the prince of cups. I thought it was the knight of cups. And we have the Queen of Cups, and this is a wonderful, you know, it's like the um, the moon, the, um, you know, whenever you're doing your moon rituals, this looks like um, 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 the Cups, the Queen of Cups doing her moon rituals. This is this is nice. I'm 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 loving this. Okay, we have the King of Cups. <laughs> I'm loving this one. This has a totally different twist to it, people. Look at him. It's gorgeous. It's nicely done, and you can see that it's really a Celtic king. So that's 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 wonderful. Oh, okay. We have the Ace of Sword. The Ace of Sword is beautiful. The Ace of Sword is wonderful. It's beautiful. It's one of those energies that you need to, to um, it's, it's, it's different. It's, uh, you know, you have some of those weeks that you have this sort of energy. We have the Two of Wands, which is nicely done in a total, unbelievable different form, which I am loving. Okay, I would, uh, I would think that it would be the Two of Swords. Okay, this is good. At least you're not seeing the face in the other decks. You see the face. The three of sword is a good way. And, you know, as you look at this picture, it looks like an uh, the, 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 the art break, but the sword is pointing up to the skies. And this is just a wonderful, wonderful way of doing the heart Because as I said, I'm not really one of those favorite person. We have the four of cups and I'm loving this because this is the picked of a man you know really tired and he's just resting off so that he could go on and go forward with his work so i'm loving 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 these energies the five of sword this is wonderful because with the other energies of the five of swords there are always other people and you know when there are other people it's like you're fighting but you, you know, in normal modern day time, we fight with only um, one person at a time. So this is nicely done. This is nicely done. Okay, this is a good one. The Six of Sword. I, I, I love these cards, but I would think they could, you know, it's yellow. We don't. You know, we live on a planet that is, you know, they could have put a moon, a moon and, you know, like dark skies behind it, but not yellow skies, but okay. We are moving on until the um, Seven of Swords. I'm loving this. He puts the sword in front of him and he is working so he's protecting himself with the swords in front of him this is wonderful wow the eight of swords i so love this way this is good i love this this is more cut more white more you know it gives it i love this i look at this and i feel much better because the green was too much Okay, this nine of sword, I love this way. It, this is a wonderful way of depicting the nine of swords. It's showing you that you're you're in your thoughts, you're you're deep worrying. Your it, it is worries. Okay, this is the same concentration of always the energy of the ten of cups. That means he has been beaten down and wounded, and this say it just as it is depicted in this card. So this is a wonderful, wonderful, nicely done with the skies and everything. Okay, we have the princess of sword. 
and this is good I love when the princess and the princess uh, I love this this is blue the princess of swords because the swords people is air people and they always carry the energy of hair and the hair you can't see but the blue in this one is very wonderful we have the Prince of Sword, the Prince of Sword. It's depicted in a wonderful way. I love this. Yes, this is wonderful. As we go forward, we have the Queen of Sword and the Queen of Sword, Queen of Sword. I love this. It's like an old witch. Yes, the Queen of Sword. Wow. It's really like an old witch. Okay, we have the King of Sword, and I love this. Why I love this? I love the depiction of the Queen of Swords, like the King of Swords, like this, because he is not coming to you, coming at brute force. He's just holding up his sword, his sword in his hand. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, the David Star. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. The David Star, the Ace of Sword. This is so wonderful. As we go on, we have the Two of Pentacles, and I'm loving this Two of Pentacles. I love these colors. These colors are nicely put together. The Pentacles, she doesn't have them in her hands, she's not blazing them all around. They're just there above her. The Two of Pentacles. This is a very, very nice way of putting it this extremely nice way of putting it three three of pentacles that was the two of pentacles this is the three of pentacles i love the energies of the pentacles because they're coming in with more colors and i'm loving the way they depict these colors purple green and red if you realize that most tarot cards carry these three colors the passion the prosperity and the spiritual protection and the creativity which is the yellow okay we have the four of pentacles and this is a wonderful way of thinking about doing it this is good remember the four of pentacles is always a man holding on to his money but this is just um like a chess he has his money in a chest and this is a wonderful way of doing it I'm loving this the pentacle energies in these are just different maybe um, the person carry the energy of uh, the Pentacles because they've really worked on the energies for the Pentacles I think the sword ones were a little bit with a lot of blue okay this is the five of Pentacles and I'm loving this and this is a wonderful energy and what I love about this is that you really see is the Pentacles in this it tells you that it's the five of Pentacles but you really see really see the Pentacles and I'm loving the way they pick this one that meaning that she's in worry and she's looking it's not like she's walking out in the cold and this is just so wonderful the six of pentacles love this love this this is wonderful this is extremely wonderful the six of pentacles comes up with a witch who is giving people um, money she's giving them stuff and this is wonderful i love the way they did this one the pentacles allergies in this deck is very good now we have the five of pentacles and I love the way they do it because the five of pentacles is always the time when you're planting and now you're about to all this to collect um, what you have planted and this is so wonderful the eight of pentacles is the full I love this look at this this is wonderful with the yellow energies because and 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 now you see the Pentacles and they are all the David star so you know this is a wonderful way of depicting and showing the energies of wonderful stuff this is good and you know it's so it says he's a magician a baby magician or a young person working the nine of Pentacles isn't this wonderful isn't this wonderful the nine of Pentacles and she always placed the Pentacles somewhere it's not like the person has the Pentacles It's always around the um, the persons or it's behind on the thing so this is wonderful and I love the white dress with the nine of Pentacles is always a very um, rich 
a sophisticated woman who has built something for herself which is just so wonderful it can be the energy of a man too we have the ten of Pentacles and we have uh, um, it's like grandfather oh this is wonderful the colors are good this is so nicely done this is extremely nicely done look at the colors extremely wonderful perfect okay we have the princess of pentacles this is wonderful I love the princess energies in this these colors for the pentacles are so beautiful it's a lot of yellow a lot of green a lot of red all these colors coming together is wonderful and the ten of pentacles the pentacles are always around on something else which is just so great we have the prince of pentacles which I carries the energy of also the knight of pentacles and I guessed um, they have for let the knights fall out of this deck this is wonderful I'm loving it because the energy the pentacle the energies of the David star of the pentacles is here this is a wonderful it's like he's coming home after a long battle and he's bringing um, food and, and that sort of a thing the queen of Pentacles. I'm loving the Queen of Pentacles. It is this woman who is established and at home and she is trying to get things done. And I'm loving it because, you know, she has achieved a lot. She's sitting on a golden chair. So that means that she has achieved a lot in her life. The King of Pentacles is here. The King of Pentacles love this. These colors are being very wonderful. I'm loving the way these colors are. Are um, nicely put together I'm, I'm really really loving it the fool so okay a break <laughs> um, so what we understand from this this card this 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 deck is that the witches the way they think about it they begin the deck with the wands energy which is which is so true because all wishes as a broom so I can understand their whole way of how they set these cards up together because the witches always have a broom so they use the one energy because the wands energy is very powerful because without the the trees and the birds and 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 the you know the flowers we can't survive and they work a lot with these so this is just so wonderful we have the fool love this love this love this it's gorgeous it's well done it's nicely done and then we have the magician and I love the energy of this magician because it's in the Stone Age that is the word that I was trying to find out the Stone Age so these are de depicted in the Stone Age the high princess this is a twist and I am loving the eye princess in this one this is wonderful because the eye princess would be the highest form of the um, witches so this is wonderful it's like she would um, bring in the ceremony for everyone else these are getting beautiful the lady the lady the lady the Empress I'm loving this look at her she is the one that is on the front of the box and it's the Empress so I guess they use this card to depict the front of the box which is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck it's really beautiful it's it's really beautiful then we have the Lord and the Lord would be um, the Lord would be um, the Emperor of yeah the number five F, number four energy is the Emperor so the Lord is the Emperor this is understandable it's depicted in a Stone Age so yes this is beautifully done well done if you realize that all the eye princesses and the, and, the, and the major orcana they all have an animal stuff on their head this is the elephant and this energy of the elephant is wonderful it's a wonderful wonderful elephant I love this energies for the elephant because it's always this horrible old man who is sitting there and making everyone feel uncomfortable <laughs> And this is the energy of the lovers, which is just so beautiful. I'm loving these energies. This is wonderful. 
As we move on, we have the chariot, and I'm loving this. He has a black and a white horse, and this is a wonderful. I love the sunlight, the rays that is behind him, and he is coming forward. This is a wonderful way of depicting it. We have strength, and this is beautiful. This is this is absolutely beautiful. This is just absolutely beautiful. This is a wonderful way. The strength with um um uh uh, a pig and this is the wild pig so you know this is really nicely thought of this is good this is so wonderful as we look at the hermit okay he's back the old man <laughs> but it's it's depicted in a wonderful way because he's standing at the moonlight and he's looking over which the hermit and the um and the moon is always an spiritual form and the eye princess so this is good what I love about the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is here and this is wonderful this is the way that they they do their um, rituals with a, a circle and they and they stand in their circle and this is wonderful as we go forward we have justice and I'm loving the way they did the justice because in those days you know it would be this uh, yeah it's wonderful we have the energy of the hangman and it is beautiful it's green it's wonderful it's the same energy um, as is um, horror at the top of his head we have that and I'm, I'm really really love this that card I love this death card. I so resonate with this death card. There's just everything. It's just, just say everything of transformation. Okay, we have we have temperance, and I love this temperance. And th there's so much colors. It's like she is um, stirring her pot of uh, rituals. What she's doing, and she's having time. She's taking the time out. To make sure that it's well um, cooked you know it's like making a stew I love those um, I love those um, thingy and then we have the devil and this is a nice way of depicting the devil this is a wonderful way of depicting the devil and I wanted to say to you um, well um, will work you have done a really wonderful job we have the tower which is another brilliant beautiful card the lightning it's in it, it's in the tower of a castle uh, um, and way off and this is wonderful we have the star and I'm loving this <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm sorry there's something that I see that I'm so yes this is this is great what I missed about this one is that only one star is there. I always like the star with eight stars because, you know, it's wonderful. The moon, wow. This is one of those moon energies that you would say that um, it's your, it's awakening your intuition, but it is also um, your enemy. It's also showing you your enemy. So it's a more awakening your intuition to see the people and the negative things that are going on around you i i am just so loving these guys really 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 the sun this is brilliant this is beautiful this is this is just doing the sun in a different way this is wonderful and then we have come to the sun uh judgment i love this judgment because this judgment is just so wonderful it's just a different way of doing it this is a wonderful energy for the judgment and finally and last of least we have the world and I am loving this world it is so wonderful it's beautiful it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful okay I want to say thank you for being here another time for the unboxing unveiling of the another new tarot deck which you will be seeing coming up in the new year in all my readings once again this is the box you can give it to someone for a birthday this is the witches tarot not a lot of people like the witches I do I love this tarot set that's why I'm doing an unveiling of it because it's a wonderful set this is the book so there will be a lot of different um, changes in the books there will be a lot of explanations of how they see it in their form in their way so it's a wonderful 
um, book to have and it's a wonderful um, set to have I should say that um, the book is um, very and it's 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 an Irish because the Celtic and it's like the yellow you know keyword struggle challenging conflicts and if you are someone who is new at the Torah and the reverse forms of the meaning in the reverse forms and this is this is really nice for someone who is just learning Tarek and wants to know more about the witches uh, and how does that work and it is more of a Celtic it's more Celtic so if you're from a Celtic descendants and this uh, you know they give you here information at how you can do readings and um, I'm loving it the only thing that I should say to you guys is that um, these do not have any um, uh, nights so you have to use the prints the prince energy as the knights okay because what's happening is that the prince the the knights there are no knights so you have to use the prince what I my favorite about these cards is that it's it's done it's depicted in um, um, the stone age I love the energy of the stone age I like the nature thing so it's a more nature um, card sets and I am and I am lo I'm personally loving that because I love nature and um, it doesn't have that extremely colorful um, new age sort of a thing it's more of a stone culture and more more for the witches more for uh, the elemental people because we're different different we're all from different sorts so if you're an elemental person if you're unicorns or a fairy or so you will feel a connection to this card deck and once again I want to say to um, um, the um, creators of this deck it has been a wonderful unboxing uh, Philip and Stephanie and um, to the illustrator who was will uh, will uh, Wardington and you have done a wonderful job I am loving this I'm hoping that you guys did love this and remember this is a, a set that you can give to someone for a gift if someone is interested in the mystical world or so this is a wonderful gift for Christmas uh, um, to give to someone okay again I want to say thank you for being here if you are the creator of the tarot cards and you'd like me to do and uh, unveiling and uh, um, a special edition of uh, a new set of tarot cards for you I am always um, open up uh, to do this for you guys because I, I so appreciate all the people who are there to work on these star cards so I can use them to um, awaken my spiritual um, wisdom also this has been a wonderful um, unveiling I will try and do unveil more stuff again I want everyone to remember that I am supporting artelina.com artelina is uh, this new age um, Polish um, this new age Polish artist and she's wonderful she's bringing out these really nice energies that is opening up our intuitions and she's also here and um, please all the uh, photos and stuff on my site and in the videos are done by Artelina so please support her if even you can't buy the paintings at least you can visit her website and leave a comment okay I want to say thank you to everyone out there for being at this unveiling and I'm hoping that I will receive more new cards to um, do unveiling for you guys I won't do cards alone I will do painting on artists and um, interviews with these people so expect that you can get most of these things and I want to say remember that homeless person that person who doesn't have enough and please support like my video share my videos and if you'd like to do your 2017 energy vibration reading please contact us I will leave um, the link below on this video so, and I want to say to each and every person out there thank you for liking sharing and supporting 
and please thumbs up these videos like these videos and share it with other people so that if someone out there like these cards they are and um, they can really um, find them online and I am saying to you guys be safe be careful remember that love is the only thing that is real nothing else is real only love so remember this and I'm saying thank you for being here and we will talk next time peace